All right, welcome back. This is part three of turning Angelina Jolie into Navi from Avatar by James Cameron. This is brought to you by digitalcanvas.net16.net. You can click on the link there in the description. And I, I have more videos there for drawing and digital painting and photo manipulation and photo editing and stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on with this. Notice that her eye, uh, she does have lashes and that instead of a he has like an eyebrow with actual hair, but she doesn't. Um, maybe because he's part human, but she doesn't. She just has the stripe here. So, also another thing I noticed is that my color of her skin is, isn't quite dark enough. You know, um, if I go down here, actually, I want to want to compare it to that. Uh, so you can see it isn't quite dark enough. And so, watch if I check this color here. Let's go for the lightest part. So it's somewhere around there on the blue, but on her, I go to the lightest parts way over there, so in a lot more gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that then by going to image adjustments and I'll go to curves. I'm gonna just drop down the curves here. Something like so. Now let's check it. Nope, still not quite there. Like that's like more there. So I'm thinking um, image adjustments. Let's go to human saturation. And sometimes this is just, you know, maybe if I add a little bit more saturation, not much though. Change the lightness to be a little bit darker. Let's see if I'm getting closer. See, that's like really dark, and that's still pretty dark, and not quite there. So I'll go to image adjustments and um, hue and saturation again. I'm just going to recolorize it, and I'm going to change the type of color a little bit too. I don't need saturation too much. Go to image adjustments levels. I'm going to mess with the levels here a little bit. Um, let's see here. And now that color is getting closer. Image adjustments, I'm going to go to color balance. I'm going to add a little bit of regular blue back into the midtones just because it looks like kind of lost that color. So anyway, that's getting that's looking close enough, I think. And now I'm going to go back and work on the eyes some more. So let's see, I'm going to bring this back down to where I can see her eye. And I'm going to drag this over a bit. Zoom in some. Probably zoomed in a little too much. There we go. I'm going to use a small brush here. And I'm going to just kind of get some of the, you know, details more. And notice that, you know, her eye is a lot thinner. Um, his had more shadow light. But for my particular picture, I'm thinking that it looks better anyway with more, more shadow. So... I don't need many of the lashes, just a few. And then these lashes start coming off that way. You know, her hers is from a more a side angle, so it's going to look a lot different anyway. But I do want a few of them visible. Okay, cool. Also, she looks like more like she has makeup on her eyes, so I'm going to bring more of this coming across like that. I add just a little bit of uh, detail here like that. A little bit of dots to the eye. And then also I'll end up adding little highlight dots to the eye as well. And you know, some of the details in the face will be some of the last things I do. There we go. And now I'm going to color the eyes. I'm going to do that by um, 
coloring right over the picture. And I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to go to soft light. I'm going to choose this kind of uh, gold color first. I'm going to use a soft brush here. Turn the, uh, turn the size down. I'm going to turn the opacity down as well. I'm just going to kind of build up the colors I want. This will be how I'm going to end up um, coloring a lot of the picture actually. Will be this using this method here. Using different uh, brushes, multiply and overlay and stuff like that. Okay, I'm going to use um, yellow. And I just want a little bit of yellow where the main highlight is there. I'm going to color that way. It does add a slight change. It may be just a little bit of red on the edge there. And it looks like they might even have a little bit of green. Uh, I'm going to make this smaller. Just a little bit of green in the eye a little bit. That's catching off from the light around in the picture, which we're going to be adding all over the skin anyway. So cool. So that looks nice. Save often, because uh, you never know when your computer's going to crash or whatever. So uh, I may want to save the picture every so often. I'll go ahead and do that really quick. I'm going to do it on pause, though. Right, so the next thing, I'm, before I start adding the details in, the stripes and everything, um, I want to fix the undertone, you know, adding all the different colors to the undertone of the skin, and then, you know, I'll add the stripes and then we'll add details, so. But first I want to fix the nose up. So I'm going to grab this kind of darker color, since I know that's going to be the color that's going to be used throughout it, for the stripes and everything. And I want to, you know, add that, I need this to be like a nice, small, sharp brush. Now I just noticed that in the picture there, they have hard, oh, this should be on 100%. They have hard lines for some part of the nose here. So I want to add that kind of hard line in there. And I'm going to go for the black, like they have. I notice her nose is more delicate than his. But, you know, I'm kind of looking at both of them to get an idea of how, how they look, how they are. Maybe a little bit of black shadow there. And the nostril. And it has, you know, some black up along there. Just want to add a little bit of that in there. And this kind of darker bluish color down here. And I was still on soft light, and I shouldn't have been. I should have been on normal. I just noticed it just now because that color was, like, kind of messing up. And I'm like, hey, wait a minute. That's not how it's supposed to look. There we go. Right now what I'm going for is the values. I'm trying to get the values right before I add the color. And I know that, you know, her nose, is, you know, it's going to be more delicate and stuff and it has, there we go, something like that. Okay, now I can go back to soft light and my soft brush and I'm going to turn it way down. And I'll add this kind of brownish color first. Just gonna slightly brush in there, not much. And then um, let's see here. What's the other color? Kind of a. It's almost like a reddish pink. Just trying to see what color might do that. I'm just lightly touching my canvas. I mean, really, really lightly. Okay, and once I get the color kind of how I want it to be, I'm going to go back to normal. I'm going to turn this, actually I'm just going to go back to this brush. And I'm just going to kind of now paint in that color here and there until I get what I'm looking for. Kind of add the blue back up in there just a bit. Now that should be brown actually.
Okay, so it's starting to look kind of... Oh, out of time.